Welcome, everybody, and I would like to hand over the podium to Mr. Anoka to share his experiences. Please, welcome, sir. Okay, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Hanaoka uh, from Fuji Electric Tokyo, and I am the project leader of the NIDO project uh, in Panipat. Uh, within 10 minutes, I will explain uh, our project overview. Uh, that is uh, the Panipat City, Haryana State, and then the distribution company, this one, is a UHVVN, and then support organization of Japan is a NIDO. Uh, the budget is approximately uh, 2.1 billion Japanese yen. And then we project started from the 2015, and then now already three years. And then demonstration scale is uh, the three substations and four feeders and 11,000 uh, smart meters. Our project scope is the how to uh, the, uh, reduce the peak load, and then in addition, the uh, distribution system monitoring and control, and then uh, the how to reduce the loss, that is. And then the, uh, on Friday, uh, the NIDO uh, will prepare the technical tour to Panipat. Uh, we will depart uh, the 8 o'clock in the morning from here, and then around 100 kilometer uh, north part, and then takes uh, maybe two, two hours and 30 minutes. And then this is the system structure. We prepare the SCADA or the AMI, uh, OMS, MDM. And then in addition to that, uh, the feeder equipment, such as a vacuum circuit breaker, roll breaking switch. And then in addition to that, 11,000 small meter. And then almost all the hardware equipment is the make in India, not the export from Japan. And then not only provide the hardware equipment or the software systems, but also the, we will transfer the all Japanese uh, the power distribution knowledge uh, to uh, India. Uh, we named uh, the capacity building. That is uh, the defined the KPIs and then the improvement of reliability society by scatter and multi divided uh, the multi connected network. That is uh, the TEPCO's technology. TEPCO means the uh, Tokyo Electric Power Company. That is the biggest uh, the electric power company in Japan. And then also the ATC loss reduction and then the uh, technical transfer for the, for example, uh, the distribution transformer or whatever. So in that sense, uh, the one year ago, uh, we established the training center at Panchikura. So uh, the, uh, prepare the 10 PCs, and then the four, uh, two vacuum circuit breaker, and then six uh, the load breaking switch. The UHVVN discon engineer easy to see, and then easy to touch, uh, and then easy to control uh, the via training center systems. Uh, next page shows uh, the, that is a knowledge transfer from TEPCO. Uh, currently, the all feeder in India is uh, just from the substations to endpoint. But uh, the TEPCO technology is uh, divided, uh, the march means uh, three divided, and then three connected. So that is uh, the recover uh, the uh, outage, and then reduce the outage time. So we already allocated the Panipat city, uh, four BCB vacuum circuit breaker, and uh, 22 load breaking switch. And then uh, already started work. Uh, January 25th, uh, the Chief Minister of Haryana State visited uh, the, that operation center, and then uh, we had uh, the opening ceremony. Uh, and then that, that one, that, that at that time, that, that is a declaration of uh, our uh, demonstration project started. This is uh, the example of scatter screen. Uh, can you see the uh, right side? That is a load breaking switch. That is a movie. So. One scatter the uh, order to cross, that is a cross. And then next order, that is a open. So it is a uh, slightly danger during the no outage time. So the arc uh, was fired. But uh, the uh, attendee uh, to the Panipat, uh, the technical tour, uh, if possible, UHBBN shows uh, that types of operation at the local operation. And then next slide shows uh, the smart meter. Uh, the three years ago, uh, that is the first time I visit to India. And then the ISGF and the MOP uh, uh, told me the required BIS, Bureau of Indian Standard, uh, takes a half year. But uh, the actually, 
it took uh, the one year. So uh, in that sense, uh, the how come uh, the uh, more than six months? But uh, the, it is okay. Now we uh, received uh, the uh, final BIS approval last year, and then not only first single phase, but also uh, three phase smart meters. And then uh, the, in this area, the ISGF or MOP strongly forced us to use the RF mesh, but the environment of telecommunication is uh, too bad. And then uh, the, I uh, suggested to UHVVN uh, the, uh, should compare the, each technology. So our smart meter has uh, the three communication board. One for RF mesh, radio mesh, uh, which uh, the uh, Indian recommendation. And then the second, uh, the GPRS, that is a 2G. Uh, once uh, the, something happened, the RF mesh uh, uh, suddenly changed the uh, uh, GPRS 2Gs. And then last one is TOAX. Uh, I will explain next slide. Uh, that is a, uh, some kind of PLC, but uh, the, uh, the Usually, PLC mean power line carrier and then using the internet protocol. So high voltage line or low voltage line uh, allocated the internet protocol. So the quality of uh, the telecommunication communication uh, is up to the uh, power line quality. But uh, uh, we decided to use uh, the TOAX. That is uh, the completely different PLC from the, the high voltage or low voltage one. Uh, that is uh, the, uh, provided the Aclara of the United States. And then uh, this technology is covered uh, not only the United States, but also uh, Middle America, that is uh, Mexico, or the Latin America, Brazil or Argentina. And then the Argentina or Mexico, the environment, telecom environment is so serious, but uh, the, uh, you can see uh, the TOAX technology, it is easy to communicate uh, the more than 200 kilometers. And then point is that uh, not required any kind of uh, the, uh, for example, concentrator or the other equipment, just uh, the substation equipment and endpoint smart meter. So first my visit to India, uh, I visited the Panipat and then I was so surprised uh, the environment, the feeders. So the TEPCO's quality, uh, Japanese quality, incredible. And then, even though that types of, uh, now, I'm sorry, uh, the Panipat environment is a great improvement uh, other than the three years ago. And then, uh, the, we try to test the uh, communication uh, success rate. So, as you can see, uh, the TOAX uh, can communicate 100%, uh, the, except the outage time. Uh, the, this technology using the, the voltage and then current, that is only. So, uh, the, during the outage time, impossible to communicate, but uh, the, after the outage, easy to communicate, and then communication ratio is 100%. So last two slides is uh, the benefit of smart grid project. Uh, the first one is the accurate timely billing using the smart meter, uh, thereby reducing the loss. That is the UHBB and this one's the uh, wheeling. And then daily monitoring and control uh, of electricity usage by customer, uh, consumers. And then control uh, over breakdown quality control using the peak load management and then using smart meter and scatter. And then last uh, the three portion, the faster uh, the detection and uh, restoration of fault, uh, ensuring reliable power supply, and then better monitoring and optim optimization. And then last one is com convenient and faster channel uh, lodging the uh, compliant for consumer using the mobile application and IVR. Now we are starting to implement uh, the IVR or the consumer support uh, the systems uh, in addition to that. So this is the very last uh, my presentation and uh, on Friday 9th uh, the, from 8 o'clock uh, please get together here and then uh, the, uh, at the Panipat from 11.30 uh, the operation center, uh, the SCADA operation, uh, you can see that, and then also the VCB vacuum circuit break and TWAX equipments. And then uh, after that, uh, you can visit uh, the actual field and then to see the load breaking switch or the smart meters. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.